Alright, what's going on guys? Uh, I'm back today with another dose of Tech Vitamins and today the doctor prescribes the HTC Amaze. Um, so I've had a little bit of time to play with this unit already, um, a couple of hours, which uh, so far it's an awesome unit. And I want to give you a uh, review on this so far as I had it. Now this is not unboxing. Um, if you want to see that, there's plenty of videos out there for you. If you don't know how to put the phone together, um, please check those videos out. I'm not going to do that for you. You should be able to know how to do that. But um, let's go ahead and get into it. Let me uh, quickly turn it on to see how fast the uh, load speed is. Not too bad. And then we're going to get into the device itself and uh, check out a couple uh, key features about this. Um, yeah, not bad, huh? pretty fast, <laughs> except it's telling me no signal. It sounds like T-Mobile. Uh, now, by the way, this is this just came out today. This is the uh, today's the official street release date. Um, it goes for 259, which is a little bit higher than most uh, phones from T-Mobile in the beginning when you purchase them. But you know, this thing better be worth it. So hopefully, I'll get signal um, as we get going here. But let me first start with the outside of the phone. So, as you see here at the bottom, we got um, LED navigation buttons. Right now, the uh, LED will not turn on because we have sufficient light. Um, so, that's a cool thing about it. Um, the, the way the case is designed, I like it a lot. I mean, it has a better feel to it. It's a little bit heavier than most units this size, 6.1 ounces. But, you know, honestly, who's going to be able to tell the difference on that? I really do like the metallic finish, um, and I did get the white version of this, as you see. Um, and the screen is just its very nice as well. Um, now, looking at some of the buttons, this has a dedicated camcorder and a separate dedicated camera button, which are these two right here. The one on the right is the camera. one on the left is the camcorder, which is an awesome feature. Um, you know, it's, a lot of phones don't have that and you'll be able to later probably use these to turn on the uh, device back and forth um, once you're able to root this hopefully we got the volume keys right here the power button um, let's see what else we got uh, the charging input which is unique on this one it's both a HDMI uh, port and a USB micro port in one so you know you can still fit your regular USB if you have your old chargers but it's also HDMI uh, port in there, which um, is kind of cool. I haven't seen that on the device yet. Um, the screen, again, is a 4.3 inch QHD uh, screen, which is uh, 540 by 960 pixels um, in resolution. So that's neat. And, you know, you see on the front, we got the uh, front camera, front facing camera, and the back facing camera, 8 megapixels with uh, two LED flashes and the speaker is right there so um, we're gonna get into the cameras in a little bit so let me talk about the inside a little bit um, this phone features the uh, Snapdragon S3 1.5 gigahertz, gigahertz dual core, core processor uh, which is one of the fastest one on the market right now so I'm you know definitely excited uh, to use this more and so far for the four hours I've been playing with this it's fast I mean you look at it, there's no glitching at all it's it's incredibly fast. Right now, I came from the um, Thunderbolt, HTC Thunderbolt on Verizon, so, and I had that one overclocked to 1.8 gigahertz um, using CyanogenMon 7.1.1 stable release. And I mean, this thing, you know, it's hard to compare to that. Uh, next thing on the inside, we got a 1 gig of RAM, which is definitely, definitely useful for a 2 gigahertz uh, dual core processor. Um, it's going to do a lot, especially for a lot of apps, a lot of. Uh, applications that are network heavy which means I need a lot of data um, so we'll see how that uh, plays out it has a 1730 milliamp battery which is decent you know at least for, for as slim as they made it um, I've seen batteries out there that got up to uh, 1900 milliamps um, you know similar size so you will see how the battery is going to last in this phone I'm going to give you another report later tonight when we do another review with my man Ted um, we're going to compare this phone to the Thunderbolt and to the Nexus S uh, so you know we'll be able to talk about the battery at that time a little bit more but one of the 
coolest thing, which we'll get into next in the network, is the NFC chip, and I'll tell you why. Um, other than that, on the inside, we got a 16 gigabyte internal storage, which is very decent. Um, there's, it doesn't come with a micro SD card, but it's going to support up to a 32 gigabyte micro SD. So you know, definitely get one of those um, when you can. So let's talk about the network and one of the exciting things about this phone, which is apparently one of the, f the first HTC phone on the market that features the, this chip and one of the first devices or 4G devices that has it, is the um, NFC um, Broadcom uh, unit, it's basically your radio, um, the, the network chip. Now this is done under 40 nanometer manufacturing processes. Now, what does that really mean? For the, for the regular user, this means that you're going to save a lot of power. This thing is supposed to, it's it's 40% smaller than previous uh, chips for, for radios, and it's 90% more efficient, which means you're going to cut the battery use, at least just f you know, for the chip itself, by 90%, which is huge. I mean, the reason my Thunderbolt um, juiced out the battery real quick was mainly because of the incredible 4G speeds and the 4G radio, and as you see right here, that's why I had to get this crazy case and, uh, uh, you know, bigger battery, which I like it. I'm not going to complain about it, but, you know, I want to really see what it does for this phone, the fact that you're going to be able to save that much battery. Usually the, the radios are the, you know, hardware pieces in the phones that juice up the battery the most. So I'm excited to see that. Um, this is also one of the first... Um, I actually, it is the first T-Mobile phone that's going to be able to access their new upgraded 4G network on T-Mobile, which is supposed to be up to 42 megabits a second. And while I'm talking about the network, let's go ahead and test that out. Uh, we do have one bar of 4G. A little disappointing. I had four at the mall when I purchased this, but uh, let's go to speed test. Now we got two bars of 4G. Now let's see what we're working with. Uh, we're going to find the closest server. And let's begin the test. And again, we'll be doing a comparison between this and the 4G uh, LTE network for Verizon. So I'm, stay tuned for that. It's going to be in the video that we're going to post tonight. And, oh man, very poor so far. Only getting 512K. Not that great at two bars of 4G of download. I'm um, kind of disappointed, but uh, we're going to continue to test this, and I'll show you the results from a previous test I did about an hour and a half ago, which was um, at the mall, and, yeah, see, there was a network communication issue. So let's go ahead and try that again, see what happens. But the previous time I tested this, I got 4.3. Uh, megabits per second, so it's, it's, it's decent, and that was at three bars of 4G. Um, so, again, not very impressive as of right now, and we'll probably have another. Yeah, the 4G keeps going right now, so let's get back to that tonight when we do another review on this, and probably uh, we're going to be hopefully at a better location. But the NFC chip is also supposed to allow you to log on to Wi-Fi networks a lot quicker. So that's one of the things that I was really excited to see and uh, was waiting for in this device. This is one of the f first HTC device to have this chip and you know also the first uh, 4G device on the T-Mobile network that can access their upgraded network. So let's go um, ahead to the camera. Now apparently this camera on this device is supposed to be the best camera on the market for smartphones and let's look at reasons why. First of all, it's an 8 megapixel camera. It can uh, record video at uh, 1080p, which there's definitely phones out there that do that, but uh, we're going to be posting videos on that tonight when we compare uh, this camera with the Thunderbolt camera. And it has a 2 megapixel front facing uh, camera, so let's take a look at that. Definitely pretty crisp. You see me uh, recording the video. Alright. So let's go back. You can uh, the the camera software is also pretty nice. Let's see what we got in the options. You can set the uh, effects resolution. You can choose where where to store it. You know it's everything that you want to get on the uh, first touch is available in this menu. So that's pretty neat. Um, and some of the technology on the back it has a backside illuminated sensor for improved low light performance. So I'm also excited to see how this plays. I'm going to take some pictures tonight 
and we're going to make those available in the video comparing a lot of the other devices. Uh, so we'll see how those pictures pan out. And another cool thing about this camera is that it has uh, unique software for this unit that allows you to take, it's kind of like a rapid shot, five picture at one uh, take. And what that does is not like a sport um, you know, setting on the camera where it takes all five pictures and you can choose from it. Actually what it does is that it'll combine those five rapid shots into one best looking image. So apparently, and I'm going to test this later as well, if you have somebody um, that is posing for you to take a picture and they're you know smiling in one rapid shot and they're blinking in the other this uh, software is supposed to combine uh, those pictures and give you a picture of their face where they're smiling and where they have their eyes open so I'm excited to see that that's a very cool feature so and if that really works well and um, you know has all these new technologies in the back and the, the resolution itself I think we may have to rate it as the best camera in the market um, in terms of the software, um, we're running this on a 2.3.4 uh, Android version. It has the HTC Sense 3.0, which other phones feature as well, so there's nothing new about this. But, I mean, it's very smooth. Uh, you know, it does come with a bunch of T-Mobile crap, but you know what? It's not as bad as what Verizon uh, Thunderbolt came with initially which I had to remove a lot of that stuff but you know it has your basic apps that any Android device would have and one cool thing that's already built in into this model is that if I go into text messages and trying to reply it has the swipe feature already uh, built in the best phone ever Alright, not bad. I really like the swipe feature. I use it a lot on my Thunderbolt. Um, so this time it's built in on the other my other devices. I had to purchase the Flex T9 application, which was about five bucks. I also have a video uh, reviewing that on our channel if you want to check that out. But I'm glad they included it in this device. Um, so let's test a couple things that you know I like about phones. We've already tried to do the speed test, and again we're having troubles with it um, because of the, the stupid network and that just sounds like T-Mobile. That's going to be one major factor that's going to determine whether or not I'm going to switch to T-Mobile or not. Um, let's do the uh, we'll do the quadrant um, standard test later on tonight. So stay tuned for that when we compare the devices. But let's look at uh, Google Talk now. I have um, what I want to do is test out a video call because that's one of the reasons I got this. And let me see if I can very quickly. Yeah, we do have 4G, it's kind of poor. Let me see if I can call my computer real quick. There we go. Let me accept that. And let's see how the one bar 4G acts so far. So, as you see, it's definitely taking its sweet time to load. Um, because we can see right here that I got this on my computer and I can see myself already in the screen but it's not working that well and in terms of Skype I'm sure that this phone is not going to be available yet uh, for the front facing camera video chat they'll probably need an update and Skype's been doing a pretty good job of updating their software to handle more and more devices so I'll be definitely waiting for that of course we have the new market which all the Android devices have now. I don't think anybody's running the old market anymore. And, you know, this, this 4G has given us problems, um, which is not very good. But let me log on to Wi-Fi real quick and test the uh, camera to see what the problem may be. All right, we're connecting now. And let's see how fast it's going to get on the network. Now, remember, it's supposed to be faster because of the NFC chip. So, let me log out of this screen. Oh, there we go, we're on the internet. So let me try the video chat one more time. Oh, there we go. So, I'm on Wi-Fi right now and you can hear the little bit of echo so the camera does work so I guess it's not a software problem it was definitely 
just the 4G signal problem, and you know that's def uh, <laughs> that's going to be an issue. The network is one of the most important things we need. Um, let me turn it off. Too much echo, but you know, very nice device. Uh, I definitely give it two thumbs up. And if I had three more hands, I give it three thumbs up more. So total of five. Well, actually, you know what? I take one back because of the T-Mobile network. And uh, I don't want to judge the device based on the carrier, but unfortunately, T-Mobile has exclusivity to this phone for a while. You know, so I don't know what the earliest we're going to be able to see one of these on another network. So because of that, it's going to have to take the fall for the T-Mobile's network so far, and it's going to get four thumbs out of five. But other than that, um, we're going to do that review tonight. Stay tuned for that. We're going to post some uh, pictures and video from this. But so far, I like the device a lot. It's a good feel. I like the phone. Very, very fast. I'm excited to see how long the battery lasts. And uh, please subscribe. Let me know what you guys think, and you know this video, as opposed to my other reviews, I'm doing it without background music, so also let me know what you think about that. Do you want me to include the background beats that I make to my videos, or you know, is this boring when I just have no music in the background and just keep talking? You guys let me know. Stay tuned for tonight, and check back with Tech Vitamins for more.